the end of November 2010 when I broke my back. I wasn't doing anything super gnarly, which is too bad. I wish I had a better story, but I just remember taking the bars in the chest, and getting the wind knocked out of me and rolling off the side of the sled thinking, holy shit, that knocked the wind out of me. And then being like, okay, something's not right. And uh, nobody even knew I crashed because I didn't, you know, didn't look like I was gonna. A couple of the guys came over and, and where I was like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, I can't feel my legs. He's like, yeah, that's not funny. I'm like, no, seriously, I can't feel my legs. Immediately when I hurt myself, I was already thinking about, okay, just get me to the hospital, put me back together. Like, I've done this before, no big deal. Um, this time was a little bit different though because I knew it was a little bit more serious. So even just very early, like I'm thinking, okay, if this is what, it, how it's gonna go, what are you gonna do next? Figured if I was going to ride at any kind of level that I was accustomed to riding at, that we would have to definitely up the game. So I approached Polaris about, you know, maybe we could figure out, put a seat together so I could actually ride and, and race again. Yeah, to be able to get back up there and ride at a level that I was more accustomed to was, was um, definitely a building block and motivation to continue to progress and you know do what I was used to doing and what I love to do. I was fortunate enough to be part of uh, Winter Project and to be able to come back to Alaska this spring or that spring and do some stuff on a sled that I don't think anybody was quite expecting me to do as far as some of the jumps we were doing and places we were riding and um, and to me it was kind of a no-brainer but it uh, it was definitely an eye-opener of what we can do when we put our minds to it, for sure. 